Comes as nearly 100 women are expected to make victim impact statements against Nasser this week in Lansing. One of the women speaking at Nasser's sentencing is a Kalamazoo native who says he sexually abused her as a teenager. 24 Hour News Ace Leon Hendricks spoke with her and has the story now from our Kalamazoo studio. Leon. Brian and Susan, good evening to both of you. The victim now lives in Kentucky, but she was raised here in Kalamazoo. She made the long trip on snowy roads with her husband and three children in tow to join with the other victims to make a statement. The accusations against Larry Nasser are vast. Victims all over the country with stories of how he sexually abused him under the guise of giving them medical treatment. Now in what's expected to be an intense three days, Nasser and the court will hear from more than 90 of them. To finally see justice coming for him um, is very healing. The victims will testify in Ingham County as Larry Nasser is sentenced for the abuse. Rachel Din Hollander is one of the victims, a Kalamazoo native. She said it's important that the court hear from as many of the victims as possible. These aren't just um, anonymous people. These were real little girls, some of them as young as six years old. These were real young women who are suffering devastating consequences now. Din Hollander, an attorney and mother of three, was the first victim to pursue criminal charges against Nasser. She is set to be one of the last to speak at his sentencing, which is expected to garner national press. I'm not angry and I'm not bitter. I am, I'm honestly grieved for him and I pity him. Some of the victims are also dealing with another fight against Michigan State University. They accuse the school of knowing about the abuse and doing nothing to stop it. It's a claim the university is fighting against, filing a motion in recent days to have the lawsuit dismissed. I'm heartbroken. I really am. Because what people need to understand is that the damage of sexual assault is compounded greatly by the community response when the victims speak out. But the hearing that starts tomorrow will focus squarely on Larry Nasser as a judge decides the punishment he should face. Larry is what he is, and it's wicked, and it's evil, and he needed to be stopped. And we will have coverage this week on how the sentencing process goes, so stay tuned for that. Michigan State University has denounced Larry Nasser's actions, but denied claims that the university was in position to stop his behavior. What happens this week aside, Larry Nasser is already behind bars for a very long time, sentenced to 60 years in federal prison for child pornography. That sentence already keeps him locked up behind bars, well beyond his 100th birthday suit.